Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about the concept of emotional intelligence. Gone are the days when how a person succeeds in life is based only on the person's intelligence quotient, which is basically how smart a person is and there are a lot of tests to know how smart a person is. So, Daniel Goleman is an American psychologist that popularized the concept of emotional intelligence. And since I think the first, the book I'm reading right now about him is Emotional Intelligence, How It Matters More Than High Q. Let me just cross check that. Why? It can matter more than high Q. Emotional intelligence is just how you are able to manage your own emotions and how you can recognize and manage the emotions of people around you. There are basically five concepts to emotional intelligence. First being self-awareness, meaning an emotion you can't recognize there's no way you can manage it you should be able to recognize your feeling of anxiety and how it's different from when you are scared you should be able to recognize if what you're feeling at that right time is the right amount of emotions sometimes yes you can't avoid showing how you feel and you want to express that for instance, someone has done something that you do not like. But emotional intelligence is recognizing and thinking, am I angry at, like, is it in the right amount? Yes, it's okay to express how you feel, but are you doing it the right way? So the first thing is self-awareness. Learn to know your own emotions and learn to master the signs and symptoms that come with, for instance, when you're hungry, when your anxiety is about to peak and all other things. Number two, regulation of these emotions. So when you know what you're feeling, for instance, if you are angry at somebody, Regulating these emotions is very important because, yes, someone might have done something that you do not like, but there is the right way to be hungry and the wrong way to be hungry. I'm just using anger as an example, but there are a lot of expressions of emotions. So when you recognize that it seems this person has pissed me off, then you should learn to regulate that emotion. Yes, you want to feel that and you want to express that this person has done something that you do not like, but you should learn to regulate that emotion. Number three is motivation. And under the motivation, Daniel talked about a concept I really use in my day-to-day -day life. And the concept is called delayed gratification Delayed gratification, as the name implies, means you want something, but the time is not right. So you are going to tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to give you what you want, but not now. I practice the concept of delayed gratification a lot because it just makes sense to delay some things you want and from experience when you actually delay having these things you get a rush of like there's this ecstasy that comes with you've wanted something for so long and you intentionally and trained yourself to the point that you can defer delay when you actually need this thing another thing where motivation comes is Reducing your impulse to do things. Yes, for instance, many people like to shop. Many people like the 
ecstasy that comes with just grabbing things and filling your cart. But there are times you should identify if these things are actually things you need or you are just acting impulsively. That is where the concept of motivation comes in. And number four, he talks about empathy. Like one of my friends says, the world has a lot of intelligent people already. People are smart, educated, intelligent, and well-experienced, well-traveled. We have a lot of these people. What the world needs right now are people that can feel for others. The world needs people that can put aside their own selfish interests and put the well-being of other people first. This is not saying that you shouldn't look up, look out for yourself. This is not saying that you should neglect yourself just because you want to help other people. But there is a thin line between, yes, I want to try to achieve everything I want to achieve and let me put myself aside for a while and actually help other people. Empathy, aside from recognizing your own emotions, can you put yourself in the shoes of others? Can you feel for others? Can you empathize with somebody even if you do not relate with what the person is going through? Can you be sympathetic? So many people do not understand this concept and they give the excuse of that's just how I am. I don't, I don't just feel empathy. Like There are so many things we are not that we have to train ourselves to be. That's just how life works. If every one of us wants to capitalize on, I was not born to be smart. I was not born to be nice. So I'm going to talk to people in a crappy way. I was not born to be selfless. So I'm going to be selfish. We, The world would be in a crazier place than how it is already. So empathy is a big deal. Learn how to feel and how to relate with other people's emotions, even though you are not going through what they are going through or you do not even understand how they are feeling at that particular point in time. And the last is social skills. Yes, everyone has a career, everyone has a work life, but there are some things that your work would not fill the space for you. It's good to have focus. It's good to have determination. But social skills is also important. You should have friends. You should have people that you can talk to. I mean, people you are safe with. I believe in having a few friends that you can trust. A few friends that are there for you when you need them. Then having a whole number of people that do not even like you so many people do that nowadays or people you can't even see so many people have followers and all of these people on social media and it's the fact there is just a difference between physical relationships and the virtual ones social skills is very important some people are antisocial and i'm not going to go into that today but this is something that has helped me a lot I ha like to have, even if it is just one person that I can talk to, one person I can relate to about my problems, somebody I can relate to about my difficulties, my challenges. It's, it's just a good way to lay off all the tension and pressure that comes with everyday life. So I'll go to the summary first. Recognize your emotions self-awareness two regulating these emotions three motivation practicing delayed gratification and trying to manage your impulse control four empathy and five social skills this will be the end of my video today please like share and subscribe down below see you in my next video Bye bye